ladies. So we're going to do some squats. We're going to go slightly, a little bit, a little bit further than hip width. So not directly under, just a little bit more. We're going to do 30. We're going to stick the bottom outwards. We're going to do 30, but I don't want you to go too deep because we're going to do 30 shallow. Then we're going to do exactly the same 30 deeper. Okay, take care with your knees. If it doesn't feel good on your knees, go to the position that you can. Good morning, Esmeralda. Then we're going to stay down and we're going to pulse. So let's go slightly wider than the hips. Doing whatever with you, you want with your hands. I always like to take myself into a prayer position. <laughs> and we drop it down one. So remember, don't go too deep. Two. Squeezing the glutes when you come back up, three. So you give it a little push, four, five. So Esmeralda, we're starting with a more shallow squat and then we'll go into a deeper squat afterwards. Seven, eight, squeeze, nine, squeeze, 10, 20 more and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, squeeze that butt, five, four, three, two, and one. We go deeper, and one, squeeze, two, three, taking care with the knees. If it's too much for the knees, bring it back up a little bit, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four. Keep your body upright here, so don't tip so far forward. Keep it as upright as you can. So it's like you're sticking your bottom out like you're sitting on a chair. Number, Mandy. What did you say? Nine. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, now we're gonna stay down there on the last one. Two, one, hold, pulse, and one. Two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more. One, two, three, ow, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh, oh. I think that's gonna make us a little bit sore later. Okay, let's just give our legs a little bit of a shake. So I wanna go on to a new one I did last week, which is a great one for testing your proprioception. You're gonna do a sumo squat, and then you're gonna lift onto one leg and hold. With the leg that's coming up, don't lift the hip. Again, if you keep the hips level, you're gonna really feel this supporting leg glute. So the idea is the leg that is working 
is the leg that's on the floor. Okay, here we go. Squat, lift and hold, isolate. Don't lift the leg, don't lift the hip, Chelsea. That's it, flex that foot. And squat, lift balance. Squeeze that supporting leg glute. Feel all of that wrapping into the back of the leg. Three. Four. Five. Squeeze that leg. Six. Seven. Now with proprioception work, it helps if you focus on something that'll help you balance. Eight. So you just focus on something in the room. Nine. 10, we've got 10 more to go on each side and 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep those hips level. Six. Five, strong flex with the foot. Four. Three, squeeze that butt cheek. Two. And one. Uh, five more on each side. Five. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And let's put it, I've got a little bit more for the quadriceps, but I'm going to give our quads a rest. We're going to go to our arms and then we're going to come back to the quads. So you're gonna grab your, I think for this one, ladies, you can grab your one kilo. I've only got my 0.5s today. I have to use my 0.5s for everything. Um, but you can go one kilo with this. You're going to take your weights into your hands, into your thumbs like that. You're then gonna take your hands behind your head. And we're going to do a tricep extension. So we're lifting it up, one. Bring the elbows a little bit more narrow, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Bellies back in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, is it ten more? Ten, ten more, and ten, bellies in. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Stay with your one kilo like uh, one kilo weights, ladies. Okay, we're going to go into a tiny little squat.
with the legs. We're going to do a tricep series and a little bit of lats. So we start with the lats. So the arms are slightly out in front of you. You remember where your lats are. They're all of these big muscles on your back. Don't let your shoulders drop forward. Keep your shoulders back. So keep this nice and open through the collarbones. We pull up from the lat. We extend from the tricep. Bend. Press, don't collapse from the shoulders. Keep the shoulders open. Pull back, extend, bend, press. Pull back, extend, bend, press. Back, extend, bend, press. Pull back, extend, bend, and press. 25 more. Pull back, extend, bend, and press. Really take your hands, your arms to a full extension here. Get that tricep activated. Keep those collarbones open. Belly's in, pelvic floor's on. Gently squeeze your hamstring butt connection points. So you squeeze a little bit through here. How many is that, Mandy? 19. 20, keep those collarbones open, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Three second break. Three, two, one. Take them straight back up. Tiny little circles. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tiny bends and one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, straight arm presses up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. That felt remarkably easy. Then I realized I was on a point five. <laughs> well, 
well not easy easy but then i was just like what's the difference here well normally this kills me it's the difference between the 0.5 and the one okay we go half biceps i just want to pump our arms up a little bit today so we're going to go legs together if you want to go a little bit heavy you can go into a squat up to you elbows tight into the waist open those collarbones up ladies you can stay on your one kilos and we go halfway one halfway two keep those collarbones open three four five six seven eight nine ten and one someone's nearly beginning isn't that amazing two after last week to think of that three four it begins today or tomorrow i thought it was tomorrow today summer's begun how many is that nine eight nine ten ten more ten nine eight seven six five now on the last one do not drop back down four three two one hold it now the reason i don't want you to drop down is because this bit hurts a little bit open it up you'll feel all of the muscle groups changing slightly to the back of the arm we repeat the same thing halfway up one oh. two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty more and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten last ten and ten nine eight seven six five four three two one five second break five four three two one arms come away from the body bring it all the way in one two we stay with biceps three four five okay now the, if you're on that one kilo weight of course it's going to feel a little bit heavier because we've now taken the, the arm away from the body so it's no longer leaning on the body which means that the shoulder has to come into play and start working nine ten last ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and rest five four three two one ladies you can stay on your one kilo weight if it gets too heavy you can drop down to a point five we go weight underneath the chin we come out to a w position 
So it's not like this, the W is here. We're then going to tap up above our heads. A little bit further up above the crown of the head. You then squeeze down using your back muscles. You then bring it back across the chin. You open to a W. You press up. You squeeze it down using the biceps, using the back. You cross it back over. Here we go, 20 reps. And one, press, squeeze, and back. And when I say squeeze, squeeze it from the back muscles. Squeeze, back. Three. Squeeze the belly back. Squeeze the pelvic floor up. Five. Six. Make sure that when you come back that you're really bringing it underneath or next to the chin. Seven. Eight. Nine. We got halfway and ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. On the last one, we do not drop. Three. Two. And one. Hold your W position. Arms drop back. This part of the arm drops back. Elbow comes forward. And we pulse up. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one. I'm certainly glad I'm not on a one now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, rest. Taking both hands into your, into your, don't both hands, both weights into your hands. Activating the bicep. Half lift up one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more, and one, two. So it's Bicep, shoulders and back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. Pop your weights down and go and grab your chairs, please. We've done this hundreds of times before, before. It's a quad exercise. It's a psoas exercise. Please don't lift your leg too high. It's not about how far you get your leg up in the air. It's about making sure that you're activating the muscle right. If you lift your leg up too much in the air, you're just going to overactivate the hip flexors and you're going to feel your hip flexors anyway, just lifting the leg off. So we go into a tiny little Pilates first position. A little tiny plie. Take the leg out in front of you. 30 little prep lifts. This butt cheek on this leg needs to be activated to support you. And lifting up one, two, three, four, Five. Now, if you're someone that's already got overactive hip flexors like myself, I can already feel my hip flexor already starting to get quite tense and I've only just begun. 30. Again, I've just got my leg coming off the floor. I'm not lifting it too high. Be careful you're not leaning back with your body. Make sure your body's nice and upright over the leg. How many is that? Last, last one. Ten more. Woo! So you want that quadricep to kind of feel quite narrow if you touch the quad you should feel that it's kind of got a narrowness to it rather than like you're trying to expand it you want it to kind of come in to itself okay you've got a five second rest five four three two one bring it straight back out three presses up one two three one two three one, two, three. Now, if you can't get that narrow feeling, just give your leg a little bit of a shake. One, two, three, and you'll feel the muscle kind of come in. Two, three. One, 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 two, three. Thirty pulses. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it out. So there's no point, and I know I say this every class. But there is no point in trying to work through a cramp if the muscle is cramping on you. You must stop and let the muscle relax. Hold five, four, push into the pelvis, three, two, one. So while we're facing our chairs, tiny little plie, same leg. This will come as a nice relief to the hip flexor now. We do exactly the same, but we're working our butt muscles. You want your back to be in a nice comfortable position and lifting it up, one, two, the coconut lift, three, four, use your hamstring butt connection point, five, the hamstring butt connection point is that little bit just where the glute and the hamstring are coming together and it's working that muscle in there that makes your bottom lift upwards. That's why 
crazy Madonna's bottom looks so good because she's got great hamstring butt connection points. How many is that? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Three little preps. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, three more. One, two, three, two, one, thirty pumps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on to the back of the leg and stretch your quad. Hold it five, four, three, two, and one and we change sides. Tiny little plie. Leg comes out in front, stabilize into this back leg and lifting up one. And two. Remember again, we're trying to get a nice narrow muscle. Three. Four. So you almost have to try and, okay, it's a hard concept, but you almost have to try and relax the quadricep. And then it will become narrow. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I need a five second break. Five, four, three, two, one. Three pulses, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try to keep the hip bones level. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and pulsing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn towards your chair, take yourself into a psoas stretch. Push the pelvis forward. Tiny little plie. Take the leg back. You're in a rotated position. 30 lifts and one. Lifting from the hamstring butt connection point, two. 
three, four. So you don't come all the way back in towards the other leg. It just stops off the floor. That's it. How many is that? Six. We have one more round. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, last ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And pulse up. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. I stopped to do the, I forgot to do the threes. Pulsing up, one, two, three. And one, two, three. Contract that hamstring butt connection point. One, two, three. 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 Thirty pumps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on to the back of the leg. Whoop. How am I going for time? Hold it ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Just taking a seat on your chair. We'll do a uh, we'll do a glute stretch here. Take one leg up and over the other. Make sure you've got a comfortable position that you're not sticking your your bone into your leg. Lift up out of your back and then just gently fold forward over your leg. Your back will tell you where, how far you can go. I cannot go very far forward in this stretch. My back doesn't let me go too much. Just lean with a bit of body weight on this part of the leg just to get that extra stretch in the glute and you can take your body as far forward as you want. And changing sides. Leaning into it. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. And coming down to your mats, please. Grab your weight still. I want to do one more tricep exercise on the floor. This will be done with your one kilos. So I have both my weights in my hands. And we hold on with our hands to both weights. My palms are facing the windows. I'm going to take my arms back on an angle. And then I'm going to hold my arm on that angle. 
I'm going to bend my forearms, which is going to bring my hands to the crown of my head, and then I'm going to extend it back up, but I'm not going to lose the angle. So I'm not going to come back to this, for example. We stay on the angle. Do not be surprised if you feel your tricep shaking stra straight away. I don't know why, but for some reason this exercise makes your triceps shake instantly. So we take it back. Find your position and bend it in, pressing one, two, three, four. Really check that those elbows are not aligned with your shoulders. Those elbows need to be back on an angle. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one weights down taking your hands down by your side bringing your legs together and connect them feet are connected legs are connected we roll up into a pelvic tilt i am not in a rounded lower back pelvic tilt my lower back is relatively straight in the air Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs, and we're going to go for 30 pulses. And pulsing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, roll it down and rest. Legs hip width apart. We do exactly the same. We roll up, find a position that is comfortable with your back, squeeze your glutes, and pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, roll it down and rest. Heels together, toes apart, knees apart. Roll it up and pulse, squeezing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down. Wide position with the legs. Roll it up. Last round and pulse. Squeeze one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pulse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll it down and rest. Take one leg up and over the other. Drop it all the way to the side and just let the back stretch. Bring the arms out. Make sure both shoulders are on the mat. Holding ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bring it back to center change legs let everything go over to the right hold ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and rest okay everyone else i just have to give sylvia an alternative exercise you've got a five second reprieve sylvia we're going to go into stuff that's going to be on our coccyx so you're going to take your hands behind your head you're going to breathe out and lift your head and shoulders up you're going to be in a neutral spine position you're going to take a deep breath in you're going to breathe out and you're going to roll back down. So it's a breath out to lift up, Sylvia. It's a breath in, hold. It's a breath out to roll down. I'd like you to do eight like that. Then I'd like you to go alternatively to the oblique. You're going to breathe out to lift up. Breath in, hold. Breathe out, roll back down. Eight times on each side, alternate, alternating. You got it? Perfect. Everyone else up, please. Sweet spots. It's been a while. We roll halfway back. We roll onto our coccyx. We round our lower back. Hold onto the legs. Find your deep, sweet spot in your lower abs and pulse one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twist and pulse. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, the other side, twist one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, rest, bring it up, take a deep breath in, roll it back a little bit further, find your sweet spot, and pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twist, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and twist one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it all the way up. Rolling it back to the vomit spot, which is the upper six pack. Oh, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twist. One, two, go a little bit further down, Anella. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. How long have I got? Take a deep breath in and breath out. Okay, Sylvia, if you have done those three positions, We've got a little bit more to go on our coccyx. You can repeat now with the legs up in tabletop and you can go for six in the center and six on each side. Exactly the same breath pattern. Make sure you keep your lower back flat, please. Everyone else up. Bring your hands out in front of you. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out, half roll back. Breath in and stay. Breath out one arm. In down. Second arm. In down. Double arms. In down. Out, roll it back up. Deep breath in. Breath out, roll it back. Breath in. Breath out one arm. In down. Second arm. In down, double arms, in down, out, roll it back up, three more reps, deep breath in, breath out, roll back, breath out, one arm, in down, second arm, in down, double arms, in down, out, roll it back up, two more reps, deep breath in, breath out, roll it back, Breath out, one arm, in down, second arm, in down, double arms, in down, out, roll it back up, last one, roll it back, one arm, in back, second arm, in back, double arms, in back, out, roll it back up. Keep going, Sylvia. We've got one more on our coccyx. We lay back on our backs, ladies. Arms are like this. Now, it's understanding. We've done this a few times. I don't know whether everyone's done it that's in class. It's understanding the weight of the body to get the into the V position. So as I lift my head and shoulders up, that is when I'm going to lift my legs up to come up into a teaser then I'm going to lower myself back down. So you've got to use the momentum of the body to get the legs up. Palms face the ceiling, legs are connected. Take a deep breath in, breath out. Lift your head and shoulders and lift your legs. And drop back down. So you've got to get those shoulders and those, that head off. So I lift my head and shoulders right off here. Then I try and lift my legs and drop back down. Head, shoulders, legs. And drop. Three more reps. And, and lift. And drop. And lift. And drop. Last one and lift and drop coming up into a position let's stretch it out take one leg out to the side take the other one in 
Pia, we can talk about that exercise. It's just about understanding the mechanics of the weight. Once you understand the mechanics of the weight, you'll pop up. It's just getting that right timing. And when you get that right timing, then all of a sudden it works. Take one elbow to the knee. Take the other hand up and over. Really reach through your fingers so you can feel that fascia stretching all the way down the side here. You really reach through the tips of your fingers, you'll feel that happening. Take your fingers onto your forearm and then pull your elbow towards me. So I'm pulling this elbow towards you guys and that's going to get into the fascia, into, into all of those intercostal muscles. Changing sides. Elbow drops to the knee. Arm comes all the way over, reaching through the fascia. Twist with your fingers, the tips of your fingers, hold onto your forearm. Pull this section towards me, pull the elbow towards me. Come into a mermaid position, take the same leg behind you. Here's my alarm clock. Come over down to the floor, take your arm up and over again. Twist. Twist back. Lift it back up. Pressing over. Changing sides. Drop down. Twist. Twist back, lift, press, and we are finished guys.